In this video, let us look into the concept of the graphical method of solving simultaneous linear equations. So in the previous video, we did look into the graphical representation of the linear equations in two variables, a pair of linear equations in two variables to be specific. Now in this video, what we'll be looking in is how do we solve simultaneous linear equations graphically, of course, in two variables, definitely. So how do you do it? So let's say, for example, we've got a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals 0. Let's say these are the equations, the linear equations in two variables. The two variables that we're speaking about is x and y and x and y. So now if you have to solve this, now what do you mean by saying solve these equations? I'll repeat again. You know, I've already told you what is solving an equation. Solving an equation is nothing but say, for example, if we have x plus 3 equals 4. So if you have to solve this equation, what is it? What do you mean by that? It means you need to find x such that the value of x plus 3 gives you 4. So the, so the value of x here is 1. So that is solving an equation. Well, solving a linear equation in one variable is a very simple thing. But what about solving a linear equation, something like this, x plus y equals 5. Now, how do you solve this? How do you know x is what and y is what? It can be 1 plus 4 equals 5 or 2 plus 3 equals 5 or it can be anything. But how do you know specifically? Well, you cannot solve a linear equation in two variables with just one equation. You need another linear equation in two variables. Say, for example, x minus y equals 3. Now, if you have this, you definitely can solve it. Well, there are methods to solve. Again, what is solving that? Finding the value of x and y. I'm not going into how do we solve this. In the future videos, we will do that in the forthcoming videos. But right now, I'm just saying, what do you mean when you say solving simultaneous linear equations? So when you have these two equations, you definitely can solve it. And uh, when I say solving it, it means that finding the values of x and y. That's what it means. All right. So yeah, there are various methods by which you can solve. But in this video, we are specifically looking into the graphical method of solving the simultaneous linear equation. So that is finding the solutions, finding the values of x and y. Now, how do you do that? First of all, you need to find two solutions for each equation. That's what you have to do. You have to assume if x is equal to 0, what will be y? y will be 5. You need to assume here. So when you assume, you will get one point. When you take x is equal to 0, you'll get y, right? So you have 0, 5. For this, you have 0, 5 as a first solution. So isn't this a point? What do I mean when I say 0, 5? 0 is the x-axis and 5 is the y-axis, right? So we've got one point. But if you want to solve graphically, you need two points because when we speak about graphical method of solving, we will definitely have a y-axis and a x-axis, all right? For example, say this is definitely the x-axis. So x dash o x and y o y dash, all right? Now say the x-axis is 0 and the y is 5. Say y is somewhere here. So, you know, it is exactly this point. But with just one point, you cannot draw a line, right? Now, the reason why we have to draw a line, I'll come to that. So we need another solution. So if y is 0, x should be 5, right? So yeah, we've got another solution such that x is 5 and y is 0. So 5 comma 0. So the x is 5, that is somewhere here, and y is 0 here. So this is the point. So when you've got two points, you can make it a line. Well, now have you solved this? Not yet, because we need another line, that line it has to either coincide with this or it has to intersect with this for us to solve this. Now, why is that? Now, similarly, find two points like this for this equation. Remember, I'm not solving an example here. I'm just trying to explain what, what it is. In the forthcoming videos, we will do it in detail. So here, I'm just telling you, solve this equation or find the point similarly, whatever it is, say something and something. So say, for example, we've got another line such that it cuts like this. So now this point here, the intersecting point is the solution for this, these two equations, these two simultaneous linear equations. So you need to read this point. So in on x, it's going to be, I think, 4 here. And on y, I think it's going to be 1. All right. So it's going to be 4 comma 1. 
So the solution for this simultaneous equation is 4, 1, meaning the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1. Right? So now this is the way you solve simultaneous linear equations graphically. And again, this is one of the three ways. When I say one of the three ways, if you recall in the previous video, we did three kinds of representation. You know, what you get when you represent, what is the maximum different, you know, the maximum types of representations that you can get. One is intersecting. This is intersecting. This is the intersecting method. So what can happen otherwise? So say we've got another x and y axis here, okay? So say we've got x dash o x and y dash o y. And what else can you get? Well, you can get two coinciding lines, you know, something like this. You can get a line like this and it may again be the same line. It's just an extension of the same line. So you almost, you know, it's got infinite number of solutions. Every point is a solution for that couple of, you know, the simultaneous linear equation. Whereas in this case, you've got only one solution. That is this point where they intersect. That point is a solution for both the lines or both. The, now this line represents this equation. and This line represents another equation, just for example. So when they intersect at a point, it says that both of them share only one solution. But when they coincide, it means all the solutions are same for both the lines. So this is another thing. And this is called coinciding. This is coinciding. So this has got infinite number of solutions for the given two linear equations in two variables. The final thing is this. Say you've got the y-axis and then you've got the x-axis. And say this is y o y dash. And then say this is x dash o x. Now what if you get something like this? You've got one line here and then you've got another line here. And they don't meet at all they are parallel to each other this means parallel okay now what does it say have you got a solution here no because these two lines are different this line represents an equation this line represents an equation by not intersecting with each other they do not share a common solution at all so therefore now the equations for which we drew this those equations do not have solutions at all so that's what it means. So when you get these these kind of graph after plotting and if it doesn't meet, that means that particular set of equations do not have solutions at all. These kind of equations, the, the equations for which you get coinciding lines has got infinite number of solutions and the equations which has got graph like this in which two lines intersect has got one solution. So this is how we graphically solve simultaneous linear equations so i'll quickly take you through again at least how to graph it first when you've got two equations get two solutions with one solution you cannot do anything you'll get only one point when you get two solutions you can draw a line similarly when you get two solutions for another equation you'll get another line and with that line when when you plot it you will e you will either get one of these three you'll get either intersecting coinciding or parallel and based on that we can decide what kind of simultaneous linear equations in two variables are those so this concludes this video i'll see you on the forthcoming videos with problems based on graphical method of solving simultaneous linear equations